the battery life is incredible. It comes with 64 amps of actually battery power. And this Tornado also comes with anti-scalp wheels. According to Stigger, this is the first all-electric ride-on tractor on the market. This is our third year reviewing and using garden tractors or ride-ons. It's kind of important, I think, to just distinguish what the difference is between a ride-on and a tractor. So if you're looking for a ride-on mower, basically, if you go to the ride-on mowers, they're basically more of kind of your suburban large mm -hmm. garden, or if you're in the countryside, kind of a very manicured kind of flat-ish garden. You know, something that's not too kind of terrainy, bumpy, whereas your tractors are more suitable for us because we are kind of rural countryside and we have a sloping field and it's very very rough terrain in parts it's quite kind of yeah. uneven rabbit holes that kind of thing so for us the garden tractors are the way to go but it is important to kind of distinguish that if you're looking or you're new to garden tractors and ride-ons and you're starting to think about purchasing one so today we're reviewing the tornado battery operated ride-on tractor from Stigger, and it's important to differentiate the tornado from the estate the estate has got the collection bag at the back of the actual ride-on tractor. The Tornado does not, so all it does is mulch. So it is important immediately out of the gate yeah. to decide whether you want to actually have the option to bag up your garden waste and your lawn cuttings, or if you're just happy to just continuously mulch, that is really important. Mm -hmm. um, but bagging, you know, obviously you do then have that weight. So whenever we have done that, you, know, you do have to then lift off and they're quite big. Quite I mean, substantial. <laughs> they're not the same size as a lawn bag when you just pull that off the back yeah. of the lawnmower these things are gigantic so you are collecting a really large volume of grass cuttings and that weight is not suitable for everybody to be no. able to take off so if you have those issues and you maybe have back issues or you don't want to be able mm. to kind of lift that huge heavy weight then mulching really is the way to go the first thing that really stands out when you look at this ride on tractor is the cutting deck it's 108 centimeters and that is wide yeah so getting up and down the field for us was really really quick because you're cutting cutting at over a meter on a single pass. Yeah, which is great because you do get through your cutting a lot faster. Yeah. I think if you've got nice, big, wide open spaces, then go as wide as you can. Mm -hmm. I think that that is kind of my advice on that. But if you've got a lot of maybe trees in areas, you've got narrow pathways, maybe the shrubs come in and it kind of narrows down in spaces that you need to get through, then that's something to keep in mind because obviously the wider your cutting deck is, the kind of less you can kind of get into those spaces. Mm. So, you know, then you might have to to think about having a lawnmower on the side so that you kind of just do yeah. the main areas like we do with the big cutting deck get that through that really quickly and then take out a little mower and kind of just go into like the mm. nooks and crannies yeah. of the garden but if you've got a nice big wide kind of open space mm -hmm. open lawn then go as wide as you can because you'll just get through it really really quickly and this one really did have a very wide cutting deck oh, massive. the only drawback with the wide cutting deck is because it's got the side discharge mulcher that little piece of plastic that basically prevents the grass clippings from flying back at you yeah eats into your actual space too so you've got the 108 centimeters plus i think it's another 60 for that side discharge unit yeah so you have to kind of plan when you start cutting around certain trees that you can't get too close from the right hand side because that's where the side discharge is. Yeah. So you need to sometimes make a U-turn and come back with your left hand side so you can get a little bit closer to that so it actually discharges to the side. But well, it's not a big deal because, I mean, you do get used to it quite quickly. We certainly did. Uh, but it is something that's worth considering. And it's also worth noting that when we first got the ride-on tractor and we came down, because it had really was just so wide and then you had the side discharge on top of it, I kind of thought, well, then what I'll do is I'll just flip that up. Yeah. And when I want to go into my kind of width of this bit narrower, then I can just flip that up and just drive in and drive out. No, that's not the case. That mulching chute does not give you the option to be able to flip it up. Um, and that's really important not only for your options of actually going into the spaces as Miles said that then adds on to your width of your cutting deck mm. but it's also important for storage so if you're thinking about driving this into a garage and you've only got a certain width and you're thinking about okay well I've measured my cutting deck that's how wide the machine's going to be I'll just drive it into that space no because you then have the mulching on the side mm -hmm. that you need to add into that width space and if you're thinking you can just actually remove that side chute from the actual mower itself no you can do that but it takes a really long time to to put it back on no and then when you do take it off that grass just shoots everywhere yeah so it's something that you have to kind of live with with this particular mower that side shoot has to stay on permanently the seat doesn't come with those um, side armrests and in some previous models I've actually found that those are really necessary to almost kind of hold me in and make me mm. feel secure especially if I'm kind of going around bends or 
if I'm on a slope, I kind of feel like I need that. It kind of helps me feel like I'm staying in my seat. This one doesn't have that. It is just the seat, but for some reason, I don't know if it was the way that the seat has been molded and designed, but I actually felt very secure in it. And I always say this in all of our reviews of garden ride-ons is that it's a heavy investment. And if you're going to buy this, consider it almost like another vehicle in your house. So go and actually sit in it and make sure you feel comfortable in it. Um, that it's got the cup holders where you want it, that the steering wheel feels good, that your feet feel secure in it, and that you feel secure inside the seat. And I have to say, I really did feel mm -hmm. nice and comfortable in this particular model. Yeah. It is very secure, it's very stable. The center of gravity is bang on with this particular model. Yeah. And I found that the maneuverability of it is actually pretty good too. We've actually got some trees just behind us that are quite, they're spaced about a meter and a half apart. You can actually slalom between those quite comfortably and they're on a slight gradient. And at no point in time does the actual ride on tractor feel like it's gonna tip or move. It's very stable, it's always set to the ground yeah. and the center of gravity, like I said, is just bang on. According to Stigger, this is the first all electric ride on tractor on the market. Wow. And what that means is that there are no more levers on it. So if you wanna drop the actual cutting deck, there aren't oh, any see. levers to push and pull anymore. It's yeah. all done on the control panel. And it's actually really quick to actually do. And you can actually change the cutting heights as you're driving. Yes. So if you're getting to a point where, you know, maybe the grass is a little bit longer or shorter, you can adjust that by just pushing it. It's quite responsive. It takes about five seconds to react to actually drop or pick up the cutting deck. But it is now fully electric. Because it's battery operated, it's got three modes that you can actually use. So it's either you can use it on normal, which is basically just the normal cutting speed. You can boost it if you've got grass that's a little bit longer, or if you're struggling to get through, so maybe the grass is a bit wetter, you can boost so it actually chucks it out faster. Or that you just need to do it in a rush. Yes. Maybe you've forgotten to, <laughs> to cut the lawn and you've got a party or something, guests arriving and you yeah. quickly need to zip out and just do that first bit yeah. around the house, make it look smart. So it's a very nice way to kind of yeah. give you that extra energy and boost in the machine. Or if you want to preserve energy, Energy up to 40% according to Stigger. You can press the eco button and that really does cut down the actual motor speed and the actual cutting speed of the blades and it preserves up to 40% of your battery charge. I was very impressed with the battery mm -hmm. life on this. I, mean, I know that uh, I used it on normal yeah. and I've got to say it just felt like I was going and going and going and I kept on looking down at the, the battery levels thinking okay it's got to be dropping to like 20% 10% I must be running out now. Nope I was still just kind of hovered at kind yeah. of 50 40% it just didn't seem to move. So I was really impressed okay. with the battery life on this model. The battery life is incredible. It comes with 64 amps of actually battery power. And according to Stigger, I think you can do up to 7,000 or 8,000 square meters. Wow. We're mowing around 4,000 to 4,500 square meters. And as you said, at no point in time, for the first time actually with any ride on tractor, we've not yeah. run out of battery power. Mm. And that's included mowing on grass that was quite long and wet, which obviously makes those blades work a lot harder. At no point in time for the first time, did we run out of battery and on an incline so you know it's yeah. all very well you know using the machine on the downward slope but when you start to come upward and you're still cutting yeah. you know that battery is really draining quickly or it should mm -hmm. be draining quickly so you know we've always found that you know after we've done a few passes on the uphill we kind of like look at the battery and it's kind of going Ooh! so this was actually much yeah. better it was really good and i just i was very impressed it was we got through the whole lot the whole garden on one battery yeah. on one charge mm -hmm. that's a good point but it does lead me into one of the frustrating features with regards to this moment and I wonder whether Stigger didn't do this intentionally to try and preserve battery life. And that is when you're actually mowing on the uphill, it slows down to literally just crawling up the hill at certain times. Oh, the actual speed, not the cutting. The speed. Yeah. The actual speed of the unit. It just, you, it just, you just feel like the brakes have come on. Yes. And you, and you start to crawl. You turn the blades off. It just activates and it just zips up the hill. Yeah. On the downhills, absolutely no problem. It just, it just, you know, keeps mowing at whatever speed you're actually wanting to mow at. Yeah. Without any. Uh, actual physical slowdown but on the uphills the blades continue to turn but you just really slow down and you start moving up really 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 slowly yeah and i do think they've done that to try and preserve battery life the batteries in this ride on actually built into the mower so you can't take them out yeah uh, and it comes with a standard charger and it takes about for us about three and a half to four hours to recharge those batteries completely i also really appreciated the cutting heights i think the variation mm. was very good i really liked it i like the that we have a, you have very short cutting um which would kind of really kind of give you a nice short tight lawn and then it really goes up quite a lot it goes up to like 80 80, 80, mils, yeah. 80 mils which is eight centimeters which is quite a thick chunky kind of mm -hmm. thick lawn isn't it and that's a really nice kind of dense lawn if you want yeah. that kind of more country look which is for us what we're going mm -hmm. for so i really like the having all those different variations yeah. 
and I think it gives you a really nice amount of different options mm -hmm. so you can really kind of go for whatever suits your garden and whatever suits your garden at that time of year as well yeah. and this tornado also comes with anti-scalp wheels so basically that means that if you've got any humps or lumps in your garden like we have quite a lot <laughs> um, that when you go over those that it basically the cutting deck is not just scalping those like blading those off so when you kind of look yeah. behind you you kind of just left with a strip <laughs> of soil where it's just kind of shaved off the top of your lawn um, so this has that and I've got to say it really does work we have gone over a lot of different humps and lumps and bumps and we are just so uneven especially in this area where we are now in the field area and nowhere where we have gone over and cut has it actually shaved off the top of the lawn so it's actually really worked very very well so if you've got rougher terrain like we do kind of lumpy bumpy area kind of more of a kind of a country area like maybe you've got paddock or you know a field that you need to cut then to have these anti-scalp wheels is a bit of a game changer and I would highly recommend that you just make sure it's on your checklist when you're looking at purchasing a model that you've got that on the feature list because it really does make a big it difference really does. and the tornado does come with the kind of usual kind of standard features we won't go into those too much because they really are very standard so things like headlights and a bumper and those kind of things uh, nice big chunky wheels really nice solid tires yeah. I just have to say that in general if you're looking at ride-ons or ride-on tractors or ride-on lawnmowers then just Stigger are just a no-brainer uh -huh. they offer you really good I think value for money I think that they deliver really good high-tech technology inside their machines uh -huh. and I think they're just really well built they're really sturdy we put these machines to their <laughs> really we put them through their paces yeah. we don't hold back sometimes we're gonna be like oh my god <laughs> you know are we gonna break this thing we're really pushing it to the limit and honestly yeah. they really always come through I'm always so impressed by the end of the summer I'm thinking wow that really did did we really did kind of push it to the limit and you know that means on different slopes in different terrain you know riding across you know random rabbit hole that you didn't know was in the grass and you kind of go down and think oh my goodness but the Stigger machines are very very well built and I have to say yeah. I, I just think that they're really if you're going to invest in something yeah. I personally would put my money into a Stigger. Yeah. And as you said, they do offer value for money. This Tornado is not cheap, but Stigger are backing that because you get a five-year warranty to go with that. So mm. if you're looking to transition from a petrol-based unit to you know something that's electric now that's got a tremendous battery life that mulches only, I do think that this is a serious contender. The takeaway of this model is if you're looking for a ride-on tractor that will handle rough terrain, will handle different slopes, will be electric, and will basically kind of be almost fully automated mm -hmm. because you're not having to lift off heavy bags at the back. You're not having to kind of deal with gear sticks to kind of lower the cutting deck. You kind of just turn it on and you sit on it mm -hmm. and that is it. And then you just go back and park it in the garage. There really is kind of no other interaction required. No. So I think if you're just looking for a very simplistic, simple, easy to use go out cut the lawn come back park it end of story then I think that this is a very very good option and I would highly recommend going and checking it out so I hope that you have found this video useful and interesting if you did as always please give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button below and we'll see you in our next video thanks for watching bye bye